in this video i explain creep in bell drive in a bell drive the straight portion of belt alternatively subjected to higher and lower tension so here you see in this diagram this is a driving pulley and this driving pulley is rotated anti clockwise and this is a driven pulley so this is a tight side of the bell drive and this is a slack side so tight side have a higher tension t1 and this slack side have a lower tension t2 means when the belt is move towards the tight side some stretching is takes place means some extension is takes place means the length of the belt is increase and when the belt is move from the tight side to slack side it start to the contractions or it's called a shrinking the slack side of the belt having lower tension t2 so this is a slack side slack side have a lower tension t2 when it enters to a driven pulley so this is a driven pulley so when the belt is enter here what happen it subjected to gradually increasing tension from t1 to t2 so from this side of the belt tension is t2 and when it is move this side it's increase from t2 to t1 and due to this increasing tension this portion of the belt is extends means when the belt is pass from this driven pulley the stretching of the belt is carried out instance of the stretching we can also use the extends word and opposite thing is takes place when the belt is pass from tight side to slack side the tight side of the belt having a higher tension t1 when the belt is enters into a driving pulley is subjected to gradually decreasing tensions from t1 to t2 so this portion of the belt is contract or we can also say this portion of the belt is shrink the extension of belt is more than the contractions means when the belt is passed from the driven pulley at that time the more extension is takes place and compared to the extension the contraction is the smaller this alternate extension and contraction of the belt lead to increasing the length of belt so due to this contraction and extension the length of the belt is increase after long use of the belt drives and what happen if the length of the belt is increase when the length of the belt is increase a relative motion between the belt and the pulley surface takes place so this relative motion is called creep means due to the extension and contraction the relative motion between the belt and pulley surface is takes place and this relative motion is called as the creep the creep in a belt leads to loss of powers and reduction in the velocity ratio so when the length of the belt is increased due to that loss of powers and the some reduction in the velocity ratio are also there the effect of creep is very small therefore it is generally neglected so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for basic mechanical engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist and also share the channel with your friends